Hey guys, Reggie here with Scope Cam Adapter. Today we're going to take a few minutes and go over the custom universal phone cam kit and how it installs on your own smartphone carry case. Okay, before we get started here, we're going to go over a couple things that I have here on the table that you're going to want to have handy. I have some uh, rubbing alcohol, I have a little microfiber cloth, I have a toothpick, a headlamp so that you can, can see what you're doing. Uh, of course, I have the tabs, the adapter, and then I have a case. Now, this case is a good example of what, you're, what you uh, will work best. This is just a, an OtterBox symmetry case. It's flat on back, hard plastic, hard back panel. doesn't have raised plastic on it, especially around where the tabs are going to go, where the lenses are. And uh, today, I chose the heavy, big, new iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, phone to uh, install the tab over. reason I did that is because I want to show you a few tips on fastening the tab a little bit more secure on the big heavy type phones. They're becoming more and more popular and uh, it's important that you get the tab installed and fastened correctly on those bigger phones so that it won't break off on you. Alright, to get started we're going to find our tabs in the custom kit. There's the instructions. We'll be able to follow through on those. And uh, this green template, it's important. Don't lose that. Go to your phone and figure out uh, what phone you have. A lot of you might know right off the bat, some of you might not. A lot of phones, it's a, uh, if you go to about phone, it will tell you what kind of phone you have. After you figure out what kind of phone you have, pull out your instructions and you're going to find a list underneath the tabs. Uh, the list of the different phone models. Find your phone model and look at the picture above it. That's the tab you're going to use. If your phone's not listed on there, it doesn't mean that it won't work. It just means that you might have to place the tabs around your camera lens on your phone until you figure out what tab works best on your phone. On the instructions, we have almost all the iPhones and a lot of the Samsungs and some of the Motorola's and whatnot. Today I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max here, so we're going to use this tab here. So we'll take the phone and slide it in the case. And uh, next we're going to use some of this rubbing alcohol. Clean the case around the camera lenses where the tab is going to be fastened to. Make sure it's clean and ready for the tab to go on. You might have to set it to the side and let it dry for a minute. Okay, so after we have the case cleaned and ready for the tab, you want to have your buddy hold some light over you or get out your headlamp. We want this so we can see the lens down inside the camera body. Peel off the 3M, place the template right inside the tab, like so. Then you're just going to go down and center it. Use the template to center the tab right on the standard wide angle lens. This green template doesn't stay in there, take it out. Okay, now we have the tab fastened on here to the case. A common question we often hear is, what lens do I center the tab over? My phone has multiple lenses. Some phones have three and four cameras. Because what you're going to want to do to figure that out is uh, open up your camera app, and when your phone's on 1x zoom, just hold it up like this on 1x zoom, and cover these lenses one at a time. And when your finger covers the lens, and you can see just your finger covering it, that's the lens you're going to want to use. Now remember, you want to have your phone on 1x. On this phone, we want to use the top lens. And I already knew that, so that's why I already stuck it there. But use the template with some light over your head. Now we have it centered right there. Okay, now... This phone's a big heavy phone. It's an iPhone 11 Max Pro. 
on this phone, the camera's clear up here in the corner. So we have a whole bunch of strength down here next to the middle of the camera body, but up here on the corners is kind of weaker. That's the weak spot. So what we want to do is make sure that we let the phone sit 12 to 24 hours after you stick the tab on, let it sit overnight. And what I recommend you do on the bigger phones is pull out some adhesive, whether it be JB Weld, uh, Clear Weld, there's so many different adhesives out there. Just make sure you have a good solid industrial grade adhesive. This is a 50-50 mix. So, I'm going to mix it up. Again, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because this is a big, heavy-duty phone. The tab's up in the corner, and I want to make sure it's fastened on there solid. A uh, time when one might want to use adhesive to strengthen it up is if he had a, a case that had ridges on it or raised plastic. Uh, Life-proof cases, some of them have raised plastic around the, the uh, lenses. If the tab's not setting perfectly flush on the case, you're going to want to use some adhesive to fill in that ga those gaps around the tab and on the inside as well to make it so it's fastened on there solid and firm. Let that set overnight, you know, 12 hours, let it get solid. That thing's ready to rock. A uh, phone like case like this one, for example, is uh, just a clear case with a rubber bumper on it. See how the lens is down here in the middle? Pretty small opening. Probably wouldn't need to really use any adhesive with this one. See how much surface is touching on that plastic. Once that sits for 24 hours overnight. It's going to be pretty solid. This is industrial grade 3M BHB. Yeah. So there we have it. The waited 24 hours. The adhesive is all set up. The tab is fastened on. The case super solid. And uh, the nice thing about using the custom kit is whether you're a construction worker and you like the heavy thick cases, maybe it's the waterproof, shockproof, life proof style cases. Uh, with the custom tab kit you can still use your own case that you like to keep with you all the time just by fastening the tab onto onto that case. Uh, some of you might like thin style cases, maybe a, a set at a desk all day and you don't like the heavy bulk and you don't need the heavy duty style case, you like the thin ones. Uh, same thing, you can install the tab right onto that, that case as well. Uh, all these parts are aircraft quality aluminum, the adapter same aircraft quality aluminum and uh, the tab so later when you change cases maybe you want to scratch off uh, knife off that tab and uh, move it on to your next case you would just want to keep the template handy to center onto that next case that you have of course you might want to uh, purchase one of our 3m retab packs and you could get a new piece of 3m for your uh, tab Obviously, if you knife it off, you're going to uh, ruin all ruin the 3M. Uh, we sell the 3M retab packs. You can get one of them, stick it on there, and uh, mount that tab onto your, your next case. That's, that's what's also nice about using aluminum, uh, aircraft aluminum products. Outside of that, if you have any questions, you can uh, give us a call or text us at 435-287-8901, or you can email us off the website, uh, phonecamadapter.com or timesup.com. Thanks.